Bogohana, what quality or qualities you possess that can contribute to the realization of the city of Bogos vision of sustainable growth and development? Would you want me to re repeat the question? All right, go ahead. I grew up being taught by my mom how it's important to be compassionate, to be generous, and be grateful. This pandemic has really altered our lives in various situations, and I've seen how people struggled, and I have my struggles also. But I carry the dreams of mine tonight, but not just my dream, but those children who I offer my advocacy. To those who don't know, I have my program, which is Educ Action, and I have given modular educational assistance to them, and their stories are heartbreaking. And I want this to be put up in the front line enough for people to be aware, enough for people to pay attention to. I wish to embody such values that I may inspire everyone to do the same, because tonight, I don't just represent myself, but I represent every single one of Bogohanas in front of me. Thank you so much. Thank you, candidate number seven, Alexa. Very confident. Now we proceed with candidate number four, please. All right, candidate number four is Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, good evening. All right, you didn't hear us, right? What, what we were talking about here? No. Blurry, <laughs> we were listening to some music. Yeah. All right, that's good to know. Are you ready for your question? Definitely. Here we go. As a Bogohana yourself, what quality or qualities you possess that can contribute to the realization of the city of Bogos' vision of sustainable growth and development? Thank you. Being a Bogohana, it is important for us to possess the quality of a true woman. And I believe that our city started here as um, I'm sorry, our city has started a Cinderella-like story from rugs to riches. And with that, we are resilient, strong, and enduring. We have surpassed the typhoon, Yolanda, and now we have the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have fought the city for the declaration of our city for such a long time. And with that being said, we as Bogohana, are truly amazing. We are created, I'm sorry, we are created for the betterment of this country. Thank you. All right, thank you, Karen. Moving on to the next candidate. Let's have candidate number three, Shiello. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Hi, how are you? You're doing great? Yes. All right. So here is your question. As a Bogohana, what quality or qualities you possess that can contribute to the realization of the city of Bogos' vision of sustainable growth and development? What Bugu City can offer to the world is the Buguhanas. And before joining this pageant, I have always been conscious about myself. And I was been, a, I was been discriminated and been through body shaming. And that's why I, bring, I would bring this aspect as your next Miss Bugo to offer myself as a role model to those aspiring beauty queens to develop and improve themselves and encourage themselves and empower themselves to be a beauty queen someday. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. That's candidate number three, Shello. Thank you, Shello. Next is candidate number nine, Riza. Riza, please join me here. <laughs> here is your question, Riza. As a Bogohana, what quality or qualities you possess that can contribute to the realization of the city of Bogos' vision of sustainable growth and development? 
As a young woman, I have encountered so many struggles and so many hardships in life. And during the pandemic, I lost my number one supporter, my greatest motiv motivator. I lost my mom. And with that, I started or I decided to focus more on myself. And in there, I discovered my strength and capabilities that I am strong and I will remain steadfast despite of the challenges in life. There also, I discovered the power of self-love. Self-love is not just about accepting your flaws and loving your imperfections. It's knowing that those unique features that you have will make you differently beautiful. That is why I advocate for self-love because I want to inspire the youth of today to let go of what hinders them. And I know that to be Miss Bogo is a responsibility, and it's a responsibility that I'm willing to take. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Love Yourself by Riza. Next, candidate, the last but definitely not the least, candidate number 12. Aimi, is it Aimi? You are you. I am me. I am me. Me, myself, and I. So, I am me. How does it feel that you're the last person to answer? Um, I feel so excited and a little bit nervous. <laughs> it's a mixed feeling, no? But now, finally, this is the moment after this Q&A, you can certainly relax. <laughs> All right, the question is, as a Bogohana, what quality or qualities you possess that can contribute to the realization of the city of Bogos' vision of sustainable growth and development. As a Lumad Bogohana and as a woman with purpose, we all know that Bogos City is the growing economy in northern Cebu. And Bogos City is very popular, and we all know that. Um, There are lots of infrastructures, commercial buildings are now rising. And even if this pandemic is tough for us, we must be united and let love and hope rise above all. And the contribution I will possess is I will get involved, I will get involved and um, be aware of what is going around in City of Bogo, so Padayon Bogo sa Paglambo. Thank you very much. Yes, that's ultimately the first step is to be aware.